And we're back with Dr. Raz. Doc, New York's coronavirus death toll is larger than some countries. It's even more than China. But hospitalization is slowing. Break this down for me. The tragic loss of life you'll never be able to get past, but uh, the frontline workers all see what I'm seeing, which is that we're having less people, critically ill people, coming in than we expected. In fact, it's no more than last week, which is a really good sign because it means we're no longer accelerating up. The fact that New York, that everybody got on the same page and followed the rules has got to be, I would think, reason number one. Fear is a remarkably powerful motivator. And so without jinxing us, I'll say that New Yorkers knew what it meant, to stay, knew what the stakes were, and we were pretty good at delivering when we know what the goal is. Doc, you've got the president's ear. The president of the United States said the medical community should be listening to you as well. Have, have you had any contact with him or is he just... I have not spoken to the president at all. I think the president should not be listening to me on these issues. He's got a fantastic task force made up of world famous docs. I do believe they're seeing the same data that I see. It started with saying some friendly words about hydroxychloroquine. Haven't your feelings on that drug evolved? Well, I, I didn't know anything about it in the beginning. From what I can tell talking to all these world experts, and again, there's randomized data supporting it and there's randomized data not supporting it. So we don't have the definitive answer. But it seems like a couple things are, are coming up. First off, it's, it should be used relatively early. Doctors prescribe it more than any other treatment right now yeah. for COVID-19, so it's worth talking through. I also think we're gonna realize that it might work better with, for example, erythromycin, might work better with zinc, there's some things we haven't figured out yet. Doc, real quick, we all heard about this tiger in New York at the uh, Nadia, at the Bronx Zoo. Should people be worried about their household pets, the cats, the dogs? The mammals get this virus? Yes, that's the truth. But I don't believe our pets are a danger. But if you have the virus, don't pet your pet because then you, the coat of that animal will have your virus on it. Someone else who pets that animal can get your virus and that could infect them. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.